At that moment, with all of Lieutenant Colonel Marion's men laughing uncontrollably, one of the said men grabbed the musket barrel of the man who had fired the resounding shot. In a very thick Scottish brogue, the man quipped, "'Okay, laddie, we'll not be having any more of that now, will we? You fired your shot and landed your blow, and you don't want to be giving away our position of wasting good supplies, now, do you? What do you say, Mr. Hornsby? Has the man done all he should?' Laughing quite heartily, Sergeant Hornsby responded, McHenry, you old Scottish coon, leave that poor boy alone. He's just doing right by Lieutenant Colonel Marion and by the Almighty himself. But alas, I suppose I could be inclined to agree with your speech over a pint of that good Scottish whiskey you keep tucked away in your nappy sack. It's a deal, Hornsby, Sergeant Who Hornsby, a great owl of a man, twice as clever and half as frightening. Come then, my old friend, let us break out that whiskey and see if you're still sucking at the Scottish tent you were dragged away to these colonies on, or if your manhood is as big as your mouth. Boy, <laughs> I say, boy, you there, Private Gilliam. Come with us and celebrate this wounding you have brought upon one of his majesty's own. Sergeant Hornsby, upon saying this, beckoned with his hand for the boy to follow suit and take his place upon the log that he and McKendry now used for their seating. 